folks at the sneak preview say the tale of one woman teaching another to go to war spiritually in her prayer closet could be nation changing. If you're really going to fight and be engaged in these last days battles for the Lord, we're going to have to do it in our prayer closets first. There's one thing War Room does. It lets you know why the word war is right in the middle of the term prayer warrior. The enemy, you know, is out there to seek, kill, and destroy. And to see these characters really take that ownership with the presence of the Lord and owning, taking back their homes, their families, their marriages, their communities, it was just fantastic. War Room will teach Christians. I can do this. I can grab a hold. I can t I can grab a hold of God Himself. Just by getting in the Word is the way to do that. The way she had the scriptures and she actually prayed the words of God, that Word came alive. It's a living Word. David Franklin of the National Day of Prayer team says research on getting Christians active also backs that up. It's praying over an open Bible 15 minutes a day. Wow. Praying over an open Bible, those people's joy go up, service goes up, abundant life, giving everything radically changes. Go on your knees, get on your face, pray the scripture, pray the truth, and you'll see transformation. Like Brian Davidson saw in his life. I'm saved because my mom and her prayer ladies, they prayed for me, and it caused me to get real uncomfortable, and it led me to Jesus. This group believes that could happen nationwide through Cry Out America prayer gatherings on September 11th. With War Room being released on August 28th, we're hoping it's going to just be a real mobilization force to get people out at noon at their county courthouses on 9-11 to cry out to God for a Christ awakening in America. Just gives you exactly what we need for the times that we're in right now. The consensus from the folks we talked to here is that War Room isn't just a movie. It's a prompting sent by God to the body of Christ at just the right moment in American history. Paul Strand, CBN News, reporting from the Convergence Conference, Atlanta, Georgia.